resembling a tree in form. Can't guess what word that definition is attached to? Shrug it off your shoulders because that was me 20 seconds ago. Now you have a choice. You can either A, hop out of this video and go search it online, but that is a boring option. Why would you do that? You could choose option A, but if you chose option A, that's really stupid. Really not choosing your decisions wisely. Now, if you chose option B, you wait until I feed it to you, okay? And it's not gonna be that long from now. So why don't you stay so that we can hang out for a little bit longer, okay? The role this time is extra special considering that we have a special guest rolling for us today. That special guest is sweet. Don't mind us, Gravy. And the chosen page this time is... It became apparent that you can literally just have the word ologist behind anything, anything, anything. Because right under the definition of dendroid, there's actually a category specifically assigned for trees and the study of trees, and they're called dendrologist. Whatever you could think of in this entire world and throw it in front of ologist and you'll find yourself with it actually being a term and describing something in this world. I've always wanted to be able to call myself an ologist. What happens when there's a possibility of me becoming an ologist? Because if you gave me the opportunity to finally have, to have the ability to say, I am an ologist, I'm gonna take it. Don't test me on whether or not I'm going to become an ologist because I've always wanted to become an ologist. Don't test me on it! No manners. Wanna know a shocker? Dendroid comes from the word dendrum, which means tree in Greek, because everything comes from Greek. I bet if you put me on Steve Harvey's Family Feud and the million dollar question to win it all was, where did super califragilistic expiatidocious came from or originate from i'm winning that damn money all right greeks love your food though give me your powers dwight shrew uh, contract <coughs> dang it here's where the fun begins okay Enemy equals time, and that is something we can all agree and gang up on. Time to begin. Ooh, okay. Okay. Annuity. Uh. Money. Something to do with money. That's a little bit slow. But you gotta lay a foundation, a basis. We're gonna. Resembling a tree in form. Ninety-one point two seconds. But I took that time to really try to get it down. Form dendroid. Dude, okay, we're going. Okay, that was my fourth round. We're going for top dollar right here. We're going for all the marbles. Goal is five seconds. Highest was 7.9. Maybe no, let's go. Let's shoot. There's not that many words. Let's shoot for two, bro. Okay. Residents. Um, oh, fuck. Dendroid. 6.2. I panicked, I panicked, I panicked, oh, I panicked. What happened again? Okay, five seconds, five. We're going for five. Okay, resonance. Uh, rich sound, comium annuity. I decided to sketch out an example of Dendroid as well. Fortunately, I had my suites there next to me to make sure it was accurate measurements. Let's end on one final note, and that is the king of kings when it comes to dendroid structures okay this person the ability to create dendroid patterns out of thin air all this person needed was a white background a wooden tool with brussels on the end of it and some paint this one person was bob ross and that's the case 
when I used to hit my cheetah puffs, turn Bob Ross on, and submerge myself under the covers. Oh boy. Oh boy. Baby, baby boy. He was creating those patterns left and right with the trees. There's the trees, man. There's those trees. The trees, the way he created mountains, bushes, even the houses, man. Everything and anything on that canvas, Bob Ross created in a dendroid pattern-like form. I now recognize that. And hopefully you guys can too.